So who's going to go first? Uh, we're going to go with Hazza first. So Hazza. Hazza's, yep, the absolute firecracker. Hazza's going to be the first sea turtle that we release into the ocean because, well, Hazza demands it. Just watch those front flippers. Yep. on it. She's going to be flippy. She is the most funny, obstinate, little grouchy turtle. There's a lot of turtles here. You can't pick on anybody. You're going to have to play nicely with the other kids. It smells like freedom. <laughs> She knows where she is. She knows she's home, so she's trying to wriggle free. She is so keen. This is it. Oh, this is it, sweetheart. Oh. All right. She All feels right. free now. Good forward in this. Good girl. Okay. All right. Right out there. That looks like a good spot. Okay. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Calm down, Azza. She is so ready funny. to go. Slow down for me, though. No I'm worries. On the top. No, no. From kind of a selfish point of view, it's a little bit sad saying goodbye to the sea turtles. But realistically, if they just take off and look like they're completely at home in the water, that's the best case scenario. Well, let's go that way a little bit. OK. All right. Ready? Ready, Hazza? Well, let's wait. Wait till this swell comes in. in. Here we go. Here we go. Woo! There you go, Hazza. Take a breath. Wow. See you later, girl. <laughs> oh. Just getting hey, her she's bearings. She's like, she's just Whoa. getting her bearings. It's all right. Good girl. You're all right. No, you can't go back to the buffet. No. <laughs> Wrong way. Where are you going, Hazza? When they're a little bit stressed, they have trouble controlling their buoyancy, yeah. and yeah. they regulate that with their lungs. There Whoa. you go. She just said thank you. But see that once she's realized what's happened, it's just that was perfect. Yeah. Oh, look at her! Woo so good. My dad was a truck driver, and he used to bring back little animals that were injured or orphaned from alongside the road. And I really got connected with wildlife, and it kind of set my life in that direction. I actually started an organization called Cougar Country, where I worked with rehabilitating sick, injured, and orphaned predatory mammals, and had a love for wildlife and a connection with them even before I met Steve. It all began when I responded to an ad I saw in the newspaper that there was a cougar cub for sale. And this particular cougar was in pretty rough shape, so the only way I could save her was actually to purchase her and my love for cougars began there. The cougar that I rescued was named Melina, and she was kind of an ambassador for cougars. I ended up taking her to schools to tell kids about these beautiful animals, so I found my work very important, and it led to wanting to protect cougars in the wild. That is really extraordinary. This is the year that would have been my 27th wedding anniversary. Oh, my. And I married your dad when I was 27. So I've literally spent as much time now in Australia as Oregon. That wow. is incredible. He came over during Thanksgiving, so met the whole family. Oh. I took him to the high desert to see all the beautiful wildlife there, and he was just fascinated. I worked at a veterinary emergency hospital. Unfortunately, a porcupine had come in that was hit by a car and hadn't survived. So I put it in the freezer and showed Steve, and the first thing he did was to take a porcupine quill and stick it into his arm. And then he pulled and pulled and pulled and said, wow, they really do stick in your arm, don't they? <laughs> and that was the beginning of this interesting relationship. You fell in love you in know? that moment. You were like, this is the guy for me. How could you not? That's funny. I've got some really great news. We think Caitlin the tiger might be pregnant. We're going to find out by collecting her poo and examining it for hormone levels. So I'm going in to check the poo. This is kind of like an Easter egg hunt, only different, because it's the tiger poop hunt. But you know, I'm proud to be part of the process, and today it's 
my duty. We're gonna collect this instead of interfering at all with the tiger. So this is a stress-free way of testing for hormone levels to see whether or not our tiger, Caitlin, is pregnant. Mmm. It's very moist. Fabulous. It smells wonderful. <sighs> Successful capture. Now, Dr. Sam and I have the delightful job of prepping the poo to send off to the lab. Hey, Dr. Hi, Sam. Hi, Terry. How are you? I hope your nose is not feeling too sensitive. I'm just hoping this isn't smell-o-vision. I've never done this before. Your poo? Yeah. <laughs> but I do understand carnivore poo. Having worked with predatory mammals in the United States for a number of years, it is extremely odiferous. <laughs> I can smell it now. Yeah. <laughs> what is it about carnivore feces? Carnivorous poo is quite smelly, just purely because they're eating muscle, meat and bones. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> I like how the fly just comes in from nowhere. Yeah. yeah, fly, I agree. This is rank. Try and pop it in here. Perfect. Great. So that's all I need. I'm done with this. You're now. done with this? Yeah. Thank the good Lord. Says, oh, yeah, I'm going to be careful. <laughs> the lab should have the results in just a couple weeks, and Hopefully, we'll have a positive result and we'll know Caitlin's pregnant. And then squash it flat into a nice patty. Perfect. It's like MasterChef. Perfect. Oh, it's the perfect patty. <laughs> that was really cool and interesting and incredibly gross. <laughs> it didn't actually smell as bad as it does. Oh, that. shut up. It was horrible. <laughs> I have new admiration for her. She does this twice a week. Hey, how are you? So what's the word? <sighs> from the information we received from the vets, yeah. we can confirm that Caitlin is pregnant. Yes. So it's, yeah, it's, it's very exciting, very exciting for us. That's um, wonderful. Yeah, so uh, it's the next generation. Uh, we expect it to be due in about a month's time. So excellent. Yeah, four weeks to prepare. Such good news. Yeah. We have a pregnant tiger, and I'm so excited. I'm just absolutely over the moon. It's incredible. It's going to be great. So, I'm yeah, so for sure. happy. Congratulations. Way That's to good. go. Now it's just a waiting game. We're going to keep an eye on her weight, make sure she's utterly stress-free and completely pampered. Hey, buddy. How you doing? If you look at the cougar's feet, it's really amazing because they can live in high deserts, they can live in snow fields, and these little feet are designed for padding through any kind of terrain, and this is part of their way that they keep uh, really stealthy and quiet with these big, soft feet. So now we're going to be doing x-rays. All righty. So where are we heading for? We're going to go to the shot of his chest. Great. X-rays are really important. We want to make sure the organs all look normal and that Brady's bones don't have any problems like early development of arthritis or anything wrong with his hips. Shooting. Fantastic, fantastic. Perfection. <laughs> Great X-rays. Everything's Thank gone you. really well so far, but we're still mindful that we need to finish up in time so that he's not under anesthesia too long. So the last step is getting hair samples and blood samples for the Fish and Wildlife Forensics Lab. So the information we can give them will really help them with their DNA and identification process. Before I met Steve, I was a veterinary technician at an emergency hospital. So it's been about 27 years since I've done this, and um, it does take me back. Everything went like clockwork, smooth as a zipper. So I've got the um, hair samples here. We'll take those. Now that we've given Brady a complete health check, we know everything is looking good and he's a happy, healthy young cougar. Good job, carriers. Now it's time to wake Brady up and then come back and check on him and see how he's doing a little bit later. Brady's a very lucky cougar because he's in a facility where he's loved and cared for. At Wildlife Images, he'll get the best care for his whole life. 
In the wild, it can be a different story. Cougars sometimes come into conflict with humans, and it's the cougar that loses. So we don't want to wait until cougar populations in Oregon and other states get so low that we have to spend millions of dollars to try to bring their numbers back. Let's just protect them now. This has been fantastic. Best part of my life, spending time with you and your beautiful animals. So Thank hope you, I Kendall. see you soon. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Thanks for being part of it. Crikey, that was amazing. Click here to watch more clips. Click here to see more from Animal Planet. And for full episodes of your favorite shows, click here to go to Animal Planet Go.